Within the hills of eastern Fremont lurk ancient wonders which few people are aware of. While Fremont today is known for its residential areas and its contributions to the tech industry, what it's not usually known for is fossils. As paleontologists, we'd like to change that. Because believe it or not, one of the world's great fossil sites is right here in Fremont. Back in the Pleistocene, California was home to a spectacular menagerie of creatures. At that time, the San Francisco Bay was dry land, a river valley ruled over by saber-toothed cats, ten-foot-tall camels, ground sloths the size of a car, and Colombian mammoths even larger than today's elephants. Which brings us here. The name Irvington might not mean much to most people, but any paleontologists watching right now are doing this. That's because the Irvington district of Fremont lent its name to an entire land mammal age. The Irvingtonian. So here we're at actually a spot that's considered a type locality. That means the assemblage of fossils that we find here are so distinct that other places in North America use it as a reference point. A group of school children, led by local teacher Wes Gordon, made a remarkable discovery in Fremont's Bell Quarry. There in the gravel pit, they found thousands of fossils. They would go there every Saturday, uncovering the bones of horses, camels, ground sloths, mammoths, saber-toothed cats, and other Ice Age mammals. The young fossil hunters gained national attention when Life magazine featured their exploits, christening them the Boy Paleontologists. Paleontological work at this exceptional site would continue, yielding ever more important fossils through the 1950s. Until an event that would break the hearts of the Boy Paleontologists. The Bell Quarry was unceremoniously leveled to make way for Interstate 680. And while the specimens discovered there now reside in several museums throughout the Bay Area, one of the world's great fossil sites is now entombed beneath a freeway, with no part of it accessible to paleontologists ever since. Or so everyone assumed. Because a lot of this is topsoil here. There's like some more kind of consolidated material, like right around here ish. Mm -hmm. Just this year, while our crew was exploring the Irvington gravels next to the freeway, we started finding fossils. Yeah, I was uh, digging here in the stream, and I just dug straight down, found this little camel tooth. So, specifically, this is a bottom tooth. So, on the bottom teeth, you'll see this kind of like the W shaped pattern here. Mm -hmm. And that's how you can tell it's a camel. You got a little piece of rib bone right here. And then you'll see this side, this is a spine. That freeway didn't ruin everything. By studying aerial maps and historical photos, our team has been able to rediscover some prime spots which remain untouched. Spots where, just under the surface, Irvington's fossil wonders are still waiting to be discovered. By now, you probably know what we're getting at. The Bay Area has an economy larger than that of Saudi Arabia. We have a population of 8 million people. And we have one of the world's premier fossil sites. And yet, we do not have a public fossil museum. Now is the time to change that. This is the place to do it. 